And today's tip of the week is landlords don't have to be jerks. Yeah, and the reason why we're saying landlords don't have to be jerks is because we posted something on our Facebook page the other day. It was actually about this seminar. And we're getting flat, Tim, from tenants out there that's seen it and were complaining that landlords are gouging tenants. And I'm sure it's happening out there. But rents have gone up, Tim, dramatically in the last six to eight months, I would say. Definitely. So we really wanted to tell you guys and explain why we don't want our landlords to be jerks, okay? There's different ways to go about it. And we truly feel that our landlords are providing affordable housing. We actually have a pastor that we bought a suite of property in Haysboro um, and for him to provide affordable housing to his tenants. So we feel that. And if you've re read our book, Fearless Real Estate, there's a great story in, in there that on one of our properties, we didn't raise the rents for 30 years. Now that is crazy, right? So we want to stress that we're not in it, Tim. We know we're not. And we teach our investors, yes, you have to cover your costs, Tim. But at the same time, you have to be genuine. You have to be sincere about it. You have to be honest about it. And Tim, what are some of the things you can do to become, you know, not a jerk. Well, the first thing we advise our clients to do is um, give your tenants a lot of advance warning, whether it's notice that their lease is coming up to an end, whether it's notice of a rental inc increase, give them a lot of notice, give them a lot of time to mull it over so they can decide whether they want to re-sign at a higher rate or whether they want to go out and look for another place to live. Yeah. For example, we have a condo just behind us and we have a tenant in there, Rory, and the tenant before that, Tim, was a doctor, and we didn't raise the rents for five years on that guy. And when Rory signed the lease, he's originally from Winnipeg, um, I told him the story, look, we didn't raise the rents because you know what? Everything's covering its cost. But guess what happened this year? A lot of the fees started going up, Tim, and we're going to get into that. But I had to tell Rory that I'm sorry, I have to raise the rents, and I gave him plenty of notice for that. The next one, Tim. Yeah, the next one is... Keep your tenants informed of your costs. Sometimes your costs may be going up, um, it, for instance, right away uh, with interest rates. Mm -hmm. As everybody who's in a variable rate switches to fixed rate or they go, have a really low fixed rate, the mortgage comes to its term and they've got to re-up with the bank, their mortgage payment may go up quite a bit. If you let your tenants know that your costs are going up, then you know they'll they'll understand, or they may not, but you can let them understand that your costs are going up, hence rents have to go up. It's not you unilaterally just gouging them. Yeah. Other things that could go up are condo fees. We're seeing condo fees going up because insurance is going up. And then we see heating costs going up, Tim. Yeah. So that could be a big factor why rents have to go up. And the other thing is, is taxes. So if you were transparent with the tenant saying, hey, look, all of my costs have gone up and we understand the tenants, they're in the same boat as us, that inflation has made everything go up. It's just what's happening right now. So the only thing you can do is be very, very, what do you say, Tim? Proactive. Like, proactive and say to the tenant, look, we have to raise our, car, our, our rents to cover our costs and you may want to look for another property. And we can tell you that nine times out of 10, that tenant is going to re-sign a lease just because they can't go find anything cheaper out there. We know, Tim, we were selling a property in St. Alter not long ago, and the tenants were renting this place, Tim, for $1,550, yep. and they couldn't find a basement suite in the Northeast under $1,500, and they didn't even want to move out there. So we need to stress that maybe you can re-sign that tenant, Tim, especially if they're looking after the property. Yes, and that leads into the third thing about landlords not being jerks is very good tenants are worth maybe a bit of a discount. Mm -hmm. Now, what we mean by that is, excuse me while this fire engine goes by, what we mean by that is um, if you have a tenant that pays on time, that really looks after the place, that informs you of anything, any issues coming up right away, if that tenant is one of your ideal tenants mm -hmm. and your costs go up, quite a bit. Maybe it's not in your interest to pass everything on to the tenant, as long as you're still cash flowing. Maybe you just pass half of those costs on to the tenant, as long as you're still cash flowing, and then you can keep that tenant. So a good tenant is worth a bit of a discount. Yeah, we want to stress that, that 
you, you don't have to gouge people. You don't have to make top dollar. And if you are making top dollar, guess what happens? As soon as another property hits the market, when it softens, because it does go just like real estate, it goes up and down, right? Especially here in Calgary, rental prices have gone up and then they've come down. Now they're sky yeah. high. But as soon as they soften, which we don't know if it's going to happen to him anytime soon, but as soon as they do and there's cheaper rent out there, those tenants are gone. Okay. So we need to stress that sometimes taking a little bit of a discount, looking after people, and um, and then that way your property is looked after and you'll save yourself a lot of headaches, um, a lot of um, costs, which could involve maintenance and, and repairs over time. So we always tell our clients that it's important, yes, not to be a jerk as a landlord. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, when the market does eventually turn and rents go down, it's not, it should not be out of your wheelhouse to lower the rent. Mm -hmm. um, we've had to do it in the past because we've been landlords for so long. Uh, during the financial crisis of 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. uh, the whole economy went down. So, of course, rents went down. We had to adjust our leases to keep the tenants sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it works both ways when the market's going up and when the market's going down. Yeah, so that is our tip of the week. If you miss um, other tips, we do them once a week, of course, on our Crew TV. You can find it on our website. And if you do subscribe to our channel, there is a free gift. You just have to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get the latest videos. And we will send you our free uh, book, One Million Reasons to Buy Real Estate, which is a must read if you're getting into investing.